Hi everybody. I decided to do a video for, um, well, it's just going to be called Pillows. I got a great idea um, on one of the support networks for a sip of neuralgia. A lot of people are asking, you know, how do you put your head, like how do you lay your head down? And I've I had the whole back of my head removed. I'm just kidding. It's still there. <laughs> All the nerves were taken out. But no, seriously, it's it's not funny. I'm I'm being serious. It. I remember like just being on all fours or just trying to find a comfortable position or just being up pacing my house or sitting in the fetal position, like wanting to die and crying. So, first of all, don't make fun. But this is my bad. Like, here, first, it's like we have a king size and I have this huge pillow that I put down in the middle because I'm scared that my husband will like literally, I, I mean, he doesn't move, but I'm scared he's going to like whack or just, I don't, I don't want anybody near my head. So, okay, that is off topic because that people are like, that's not helping us with comfortability. So when I had my, I mean, I've had temples, I've had everything done. I just, ha I have to have behind my ear done now. So this pillow, I got at Bed Bath & Beyond and you see the little ear cut out. So this is, okay, this was awesome. Um, let me just demonstrate. I should be endorsed. For these. So like this was really good. Even for the ON, it helps because you're not putting any pressure. And people were like, you know what, even, like I was having a hard time. I was always ending up on my back. But this one, it's kind of hard to, but even if you do, like, so there's an ear cut out and, you know, you kind of have that back thing where it almost like locks you in to where you're not really rolling over. And then, um, like if you have your eyes done, the, the frontal one, this was a good one too, just because, I don't know, like if you get sick of being on the back or if you, a regular pillow, this really just, it helps a little, or if you just, you know, have your, one of your temples, like the other side, this is a really good one too. So this is, this was a really good pillow. It's like $19.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. Holler. This I stole from the surgery center from the hospital. Okay. So I woke up from my, actually my very first surgery and I was like, oh, this feels so good because I still had the back of the head pain because yeah, the first one was my right temple. Excuse me. So I remember I got up and I was like, oh, can I have some of those? And the lady was like, oh, it fell on the floor and I was like, can I get a new one? And she's like, oh, those don't leave the hospital. I was like, look, I acted like I was at a hotel. I was like, put it on my bill. So she brought like three of them and she was a cool nurse, but it's like, I don't know, as like surgery number two, three, four, five came, it was like, they were really stingy, but this is what it looks like. And I, I mean, I literally just would put it there. It's really bright in my room right now. You just find it and it's so, it, it's perfect it, for me. Don't, like I said in my, on my post, I'm like, don't hate if it doesn't work for you because I did do a search online. I have to close these blinds, they're horrible. And because I was trying really hard for you guys to, and like Amy said, oh, those look even nicer. They're like gel, but because these are just, these are nasty. I mean, I have hair stuck to them and I don't, it, it's gross. My, I mean, yeah, it's disgusting. And I think I've run it through the washing machine a couple times too, but it's just, oh, I mean, I can't even describe to you. Like I'll even use it sometimes now, like if the ear pain, because it, what it does is it just takes my head off the pillow a little. So I don't have any of the pressure like on my ears. So yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, those pillows I've found really helpful and that, I mean, I'm not saying everybody has a king size bed, but I made sure the first one was the huge body pillow, putting it in between my husband and I, because I mean, he, like I said, he literally doesn't move when he sleeps, but I, I'm just so paranoid that I just didn't want to take the risk of him moving and accidentally hitting me in the head. Um, I also have, and it's actually in my car, it's a neck, it's just a small little neck pillow and I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond and, and they have covers so you can wash them because I'm all 
like I go to the hospital every week for physical therapy and I'm all, I'm like all, I'm not a germaphobe, but lately I have been because it's been such a huge flu season. So when I couldn't drive and somebody was driving me, I just, I don't know if you guys find this when you're a passenger in the car, but even putting your head back and, and Amy or those of you who've had the ON surgery, it feels really weird having your head on like a headrest. So I had to get like a neck pillow, so I'll put it on if I'm a passenger in, the, in my car and that way my head is not even like resting on the back of anything. Because even though it's numb, it gives you like this throw up feeling. I can't explain, but it's way better than having pain. But I'm actually getting more and more used to it now. I mean, my surgery was April 2012. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm coming up on a year and it's, it's awesome. It's, I, it's just funny because like sometimes I forget that I have a head and I, I mean, it's again, not funny, but I hit it by accident. And actually when I blow dry my hair, the few times I do I totally burn my hair, I'll be like, what's the smell? And I'll be like, oh my God, I'm burning my hair. But even though I try to like be conscious of like moving my hair dryer around. It's just, I can't feel anything. So, um, I hope that was helpful and feel free to like inbox me or, um, comment on this YouTube if you need any help. But a lot of like, even if you go browse Bed Bath & Beyond, they have a whole pillow section. I do not recommend those like and oh, maybe I shouldn't say it. I might get sued. But like those like hard temper, I'm not even, I don't even know the right word, but like I never bought one, but I remember before surgeries, like my sister would drive me to Bed Bath & Beyond and she'd be like, how about this one? And they were just so hard and they say that they'll like contour to your head. And for what we suffer from, I don't think that that will help. Um, just from experience, I don't think that that's what you guys are looking for <clears throat> now, like going through physical therapy to like those of you who are having neck, um, issues. Cause I, I, I mean, obviously you carry it in your neck, just carrying the chronic pain for so many years in my neck, in my head, I've just, I, I tense up and I have muscle spasms. So now I'm having physical therapy done. But a really cool thing that my physical therapist told me that if I, now I can lay on a regular pillow, but she said, always like maybe like get a little hand towel, but I grab like one of my youngest daughter's little blanket, like her, her little, it's like a receiving blanket kind of that I held on to and I just, they're softer and I roll it up and I put it in my, on my neck. So I'm like watching TV cause she said, you never want to be like in the down position or those of you who are still working, like be on your own computers. I'm not, um, but you don't you're constantly in that down position and it's really bad. Like I'm working on being like, she wants me to pretend like I'm a unicorn and elongating the neck. But anyway, I'm digressing. So it might be hard to show, but like, okay, I have so many decorative pillows. I love it. So how can I do this? So she said like when I go to bed at night, if I'm watching TV to put pillows on both sides of my arms. So my arms are like resting on there, if that makes sense. So that way there's not this big strain that my neck, does that make sense? So like my head is like on a pillow and I'm like this and I'm watching TV and my arms are all the way down. And it's funny because I've been doing that and I've noticed such a difference. And so let me see, I wonder if I can help you. Cause I've, I've seen a lot of comments about neck pain. Um, chin tucks are really important. Like I'm not giving medical advice, but just, I, you know, if, if you can just Kind of try to, you know, do that and kind of just stretch out because what's happening is, is I, I found out that we overcompensate and we're not using our muscles correctly in the back of the neck because of the pain that we're carrying around. And also neck pain, it starts O-N, it's, it starts back there. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to give any advice because I'm not a doctor and I don't want to get in trouble. I'm just coming from a good place and I just want you guys to know that when this started I literally searched the internet and I couldn't find any y'all and <clears throat> it's so great to read comments and it, it does break my heart I mean I, I have cried when I read some of the comments because it's exactly everything that I went through and I just 
literally want to like just grab all of you and just get you here to DC and because there's a solution I mean I just I, we need to raise awareness I mean when I just some of the stuff that I've been reading it just really breaks my heart and I'm not just don't give up I'm not giving up I mean I still I'm almost at the end of my journey I still I'm not quite there yet but I know that one day we're all going to look back and this will be like going in for like a tetanus shot. I just, I have to hold on to that. I have to believe that. Um, and I mean, I just, I wear my purple every day. This is my latest thing, the ring. My dad and stepmom got it for me for Christmas. These purple Swarovski crystals. That I can't pronounce stuff right. It's medication. Anyway, all right, I hope that helped about the pillows. I was just seeing a lot of comments and <clears throat> I totally wanted to get a video out there about that because it, it I completely understand how horrible it is to be uncomfortable when you're trying to rest. It's First of all, it's you can't, everyone's like, just go lay down and it's like you can't sleep or rest as it is with the pain, but it's like if you could at least lay, lie down and have your head in a comfortable position would be just anyway you guys get it all right talk to you later bye